Two state lawmakers are working on legislation that would give prosecutors more time to screen cases where young people are charged as adults. The bill comes after the Orleans DA's office missed a 30 day deadline in a high profile case. Paul Murphy reports how these lawmakers say they should be held accountable. Reaction was strong and swift after Orleans District Attorney Jason Williams missed the deadline to formally charge a teenager accused in a string of violent crimes as an adult. People are horrified and, and upset and, quite frankly, mad about it. Last month, a New Orleans judge dismissed adult charges against 17-year-old Kendall Miles and 16-year-old co-defendant Kayla Smith. Miles was on the run after he escaped from the Bridge City Center for Youth last July. He and Smith are accused of carjacking and shooting 59-year-old Scott Toops in the uptown neighborhood. These are horrific crimes, and so we have to make sure juveniles that do horrific crimes are being charged as an adult. State Representatives Lori Schlegel and Stephanie Hilferty took notice of Williams' missed deadline. They have now proposed a new state law extending the time prosecutors have to file adult charges against juveniles from 30 to 60 days. Our understanding is it's just not enough time to properly screen a case, and so it extends, it increases the time frame that the DA can screen the case and charge certain juveniles as adult offenders. The Orleans DA is appealing the judge's dismissal in the Miles case and will continue to seek adult charges. Jason Williams applauded Schlegel's and Hilferty's work on the bill. This common sense legislation that they very quickly put together will make sure that no judge in any other parish or this parish uh, takes such a, uh, su such a, a grave step. Uh, in terms of trying to quash a case. In the meantime, Representative Hilferty hopes increasing the screening time for juveniles facing adult charges will make New Orleans a safer city. What is happening in that DA's office, um, I, I do not understand it, and it, it, um, it's concerning from the aspect of the crime that is occurring in Orleans Parish and how it's being responded to by the DA's office. The bill is now expected to be debated during the upcoming state legislative session, which begins on April 10th. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. Kendall Miles remains in the JJIC on a separate violent crime charge. Co-defendant Kayla Smith is also being held at the youth lockup. Well, the